Hi everyone, I'm Sundari9, welcome back to Let's Play Last Dream. You may be wondering what I'm doing back here at uh, Bahamut's Gate. While I was searching the uh, mines for materials, we'll get to that here in a little bit, there was a mineable wall, you know, the same one we've seen the mining bomb at. And it was close to the entrance, so I guess I can go ahead and show that off. But, uh, uh, where it's where it's at and I bombed and it said you're gonna need more mining bombs and I was like okay it took three mining bombs for me to get through still got five left in case we find anything but uh, I found this little dragon but not so little if you look at the name it's Tiamat thank you again for rescuing me from the mines of Dervigar Please, take these as a sign of my appreciation. 10 large SP orbs and 50,000 cash. Awesome. It's wonderful to see Bahamut again, but I regret all the lost time. Apparently, got stuck in the caves and couldn't get out. But helping helping out uh, Tiamat get out and get back with Bahamut is cool. Usually Tiamat's an evil dragon, which it's nice to see the change, honestly. They're kind of supposed to... I like the idea more of they're just two sides of a coin than Tiamat having to always be like super evil. I like when Tiamat is just different, not necessarily evil, but uh, typically you see Tiamat be evil. I can't thank you enough for freeing Tiamat from the mines of Dervigar. I can live out the rest of my days truly contented. Please take this as a token of my thanks. Midas' ring. Now, if you know anything about King Midas, the Midas Ring gives one plus one thousand gold per battle. While you're grinding for materials, you should put this on and get gold. I didn't because I wanted to show that off. I ain't sure I could have like gone back in time and showed it off, but meh, whatever. If you can afford the slot, the accessory slot, put that on, get an extra thousand gold per battle, that'll help your expenses. Speaking of expenses, adamantium shield, adamantium helmet, gauntlets, boots, and an upgrade to the adamantium and corruptible armor. Pristine white armor that resists all status effects. <laughs> so now I don't have to worry about devil's breath. Same goes for Sully. Incorruptible armor, adamantium gauntlets, boots, helmet, razor edge shield, which is an upgrade to the adamantium shield, a shield that increases attack power. I decide to give it to Sully, that way it gives him more punch. Between this shield and his new ring, since he doesn't need the status effect ring anymore, Mercurial ring. Increases crit plus 50. Yes, I gave it to him. His crit's at 98. <laughs> when he levels, I'm going to put two points into crit and laugh. So awesome. So he should crit just about every time now. He's still using the mutilating sword because he can go first, reduce enemy attack and defense by 10%. I really like that. Uh, yes, the adamantium sword would give him more punch, but uh, I'll change off the mutilating sword eventually, but it's handy. It, it's proven to be handy. So we're going to go with that, and the razor edge shield will give him a ton more attack power now. I didn't have the materials to make two, so I'm still using the regular adamantium shield. As for the mages, adamantium staff, saints, gloves, gloves, shoes, cloak, hat, and whirlwind robes. A rope that increases agility and preamp. Now we saw this before. I kind of went over it. It gave plus 50 agility and preamp. The huge thing being the preamp. Now the mages go really fast. Same thing for Psy. Saint. Cloak, hat, gloves, shoes, whirlwind robe, and an adamantium staff. Which give a ton of int. Now I haven't got everything I want because the materials are just a pain to get. The fights aren't as difficult now with all this new equipment. It's just finding the right fights and you need a lot of materials. 
just to get, for example, the staffs that I want for both mages. What am I still missing here? I need 14 more Kali Servant's Hearts. But I really need 34 because I also want to make a new hat for them. I found an upgrade to the Saint's hat called the Godsend hat, which makes them immune to all status effects. Then I can be really happy. <laughs> status effects are a pain, and I like when I can become immune to them. So, that'll come down the pipe. I may or may not get to those. It'll just depend. But I wanted to show off the, uh, the equipment. That's what we're all packing now. And it's a huge upgrade from what we were using. We were using dragon equipment. Which is 13 defense and 11 magic defense worse. But that's just the helmet. You combine that with everything else and everybody has a huge boost in, in stats from this new equipment. It also left us pretty broke, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, everybody's level 36. That's just the... Uh, trying to get all of the equipment. You're going to get some levels. And got quite a few new uh, new things. Warlock's Cloak. There's the uh, Rager's Edge Shield that I showed. Godsend Hat. There's still, there were still more in the in the mines is the point. You really want to clear that place out and check it out. Once you have the new equipment, it helps a lot. The things I would go for first is the incorruptible armor. Find that recipe in there. Make those. Or did we get it from the mines? Or did we get it from Sid? Either way, you want incorruptible armor and you want godsend hats. The godsend hat was in the uh, in the mines. Once you have those, you can not worry about dragon's breath, and that's a huge, huge deal. Not even I have it all though. But once just you have adamantium equipment in general, the fights go more in your favor just because of the, the stat boost you get. But enough of that. For this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to head back to the arena with our new fancy equipment and see how the fights go. At least two people are immune to all status effects. Which works out, the next person that'll get get that will be Nat, because if she's immune to all status effects, she can remove anything. Uh, for just information, you can find the Kali servants near the city. So just enter from the city and go out into the actual mine part where you can fight, and they're right there. It's just they don't show up that often, which is a pain. <laughs> That's the problem with the... Well, how, why it took so long for me to get the incorruptible armor was you need titan hides. And they just don't show up as much as the other enemies. Uh, they're uh, titans. I said, they just don't show up as much. Okay. Uh, yes. We did that one. Tier 5C. We did that one. Sorry, I forgot where we're at. Tier 5B. Ajax was the only gladiator to ever best this cup. Ready? Let's go! With our new fancy equipment. And the few levels won't hurt either. <laughs> Here we go! Mini Kraken, Sanguine Prince, and Gi uh, Gargantuan Crab. You actually need some of this stuff for the Adamantium. Uh, you can find these enemies out on the sea while you're just sailing in the boat. Uh, we'll attack, attack, and because I would fight this just like I was on the boat, Thunder 7. <laughs> Hit, 1,020 crit, Thunder 7, goodbye. Done. Mini Crack Intent Ghoul, uh, Sanguine Prince Trident, Gargantuan Crap Pincer. You'll need all of those. Just sail around on the boat. Surprisingly, the hardest one for me to find was the uh, Prince. I had a hard time finding them. It's just luck. Again, another fight you'll fight on on the sea often. Uh, Narwhal and two poisonous sharks. What you'll actually want to do is hit the sharks. 
and then Thunder Set. Ah, oh, miss. The Adamantium st Staff might put Psy over the edge, we'll see. Thunder 7. Yeah, for a while there, he wasn't able to uh, kill the Sharks with the uh, Thunder 7. Can now, obviously. Shark Toxin, Narwhal Horn. Again, you'll need both of those to make Adamantium Equipment. Next. Or for the, to, not to make Adamantium Equipment, but for the Adamantium Synergy. Synthesis, not Synergy. Poisonous Shark, Gargantuan Crab. Hit. The thing that makes the Sharks dangerous is they can uh, cast, which some people in your party might not take very well, but... All in all, that's over. Thank you. Diamond Dagger. Diamond Helm. Diamond Boots. 20k. I can use the money. Hermes Lance. That sounds cool. Now, I, I don't think it'll compare to what we have, but... Again, you can do these before you get all the adamantium equipment like I did. Then you could use the equipment. A Diamond Spear, 10 Lynx Pelts, 3 Devil Wings, 3 Ninetail Heads. Uh, the Lynx Pelts, I'm not sure. But the Devil and Ninetail Head, you can find outside now. There we go. We'll rest at the end. Yes. And then if you made this equipment, it would be easier to go through the mines. <laughs> Tier 5A. Even Ajax struggled in this fight. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Prepare to fight. Let's see what we have here. Mouspiro Monstrosity. These are enemies you will fight inside the mines. The big problem is the Mouspiro using Devil's Breath. That's something you don't want. Silent Strikes helps a lot if you have a thief. If not, he should be really high on your you need to die list. Atomic Flare. Not quite enough. Uh, also knows Vampirism, but really that's far secondary to Devil's Breath. Devil's Breath can really ruin your day. Next. Now, I've been grinding off these enemies to get materials, so it won't be that much of a challenge for me now, but trust me, these enemies are definitely high-end and can ruin your day very, very quickly. They are not to be underestimated. The Jabberwocky knows Sleep Attack, also knows uh, Confusion Attack. The Goliaths know, uh, as you saw, know uh, Destroy Armor, which can, unless you have high armor anyway, can make its next attacks really hurt. There we go. You'll need, uh, again, you'll need all of these materials for the uh, adamantium synthesis. Final round. Monstrosity and Jabberwocky. If you have a warrior, ground slam is a nice technique if you've not uh, been hit. Just for the stun. The stun can really help you. Silent Strike. Good. And Atomic Flip. Ground Slam. Goodbye. If you can silence the Malspiro, that's half the battle because that's really what it does. It casts spells, it casts Devil's Breath, it casts Vampirism. If you can silence it, you'll really be fine. God of the Arena. I like that. Summoner's Robe, Diamond Armor, Diamond Sword, 25k, and Onyx Armor. Neat. We'll take a look at the Onyx armor for you all. Mix diamond armor, warlock orbs, vampire fangs, and revenant bones. 
Now, yes, I made that look easy, but again, that's equipment. That's really the equipment talking. <laughs> and Psy being able to do a lot of damage with uh, Atomic Flare. Just trust me on this. They are no joke. They killed me a good dozen plus times while I was trying to get through the mines the first time. They are not easy enemies by far. What's the VIP area like? I dream of the day that I'll be able to earn entrance. Uh, it's really cool, actually. I never thought I'd say this, but you remind me of a young Ajax. It's the highest compliment I could give any gladiator. Thank you very much. You've quickly outstripped me. Uh, you've completed Tier 5 while I'm stuck in Tier 3B. Hey, but keep fighting! You stand at the pinnacle of the arena. Soldier to soldier with air with Ajax. That's some rarefied air. What do you have to say now? It's tough to be a smartass when you've topped tier five. You have my respect. Tell you the truth, I lost this eye at the top of tier four, and I've been bitter ever since. Ah, understandable. Why you'd be bitter, but thank you. There will be no there will never be another arena fight like your tier 5A battle. Nothing else will ever compare. I did it! I finally entered the lowest tier fights. Yay! You are amazing. I would certainly not presume to tell you how the arena operates. I thought it was I thought it was tough, but you take it to another level. You put me to shame, good sir. I've memorized your tier 5A fight, and I think it may help me reach tier 5B. Good luck. You checked out the shopkeepers here in the VIP area? You'll find goods that aren't available for sale anywhere on Terra. These are our best rings. What do you got? Ascendant Ring, the plus 50 attack, the plus 50 defense, int, magic defense, agility, preamp, accuracy, crit plus 30. Protect against poison, silence, sleep, paralysis, and stun, confusion, darkness, darkness, and poison, confusion, and silence. Sleep, paralysis, stun, poison, darkness, silence, confusion, sleep, paralysis, stun. Max HP 25%, MP 25%, HP 50%, MP 50%. SP gain 25%. SP gain 50%. We haven't seen some of these rings. You're awesome. Confusion, sleep, paralysis, and stun. That just about covers the gamut of what really hurts you. <laughs> Poison is... bad. But you can live through poison. You might not live through confusion, sleep, paralysis, and stun. Darkness isn't that big of an issue. This is a perfect ring for your black mage. If you haven't got the uh, godsend hat, like I don't have, this ring keeps him in the game, and for that matter, keeps your white mage in the game too. These are the status effects that takes your party member out. Now, darkness would still be a problem for your warrior, your thief, your, uh, your gray mage. But, this is a fantastic ring. Expensive? Yes, 200k. But, if you're looking to combat really bad status effects, this is the ring for you. Clever ring. Diamond armor and summoner's rope stuff. If I didn't have the adamantium armor, this would be fantastic gear. We sell the nicest weapons known to man. Diamond weapons. Sword, dagger, axe, spear, bow, whip. Staff, again, if I didn't have... A staff formed from the single largest diamond you have seen. Natalie, I know you probably want one. We all know the saying, diamonds are a girl's best friend. But you have something better. You have adamantium. <laughs> Much more powerful. Again, if I didn't have the adamantium stuff, this would be fantastic. So don't look down on it on my vial just because I have adamantium stuff. That stuff is great. 
and easier to get than getting through the mines unless you pay 500k. I expect statues will be carved in your honor. Congratulations on achieving a feat that only the mighty Ajax had managed. Well said. You warriors are truly, or Cecil, sorry, Cecil's here. You warriors are truly amazing, and you already somehow come by the schematics that were bequeathed to my brother Sid. You're definitely worthy to be the next owner of my four schematics. Please accept these four schematics. I truly hope you will find the legendary material adamantium. Yep. So you can fulfill my father's wishes. Magi Row, Odin's Spear, Apollo's Bow, Ancient Helm. Those sound awesome, by the way. Got some legendary names in there. Odin's Spear. Mix an adamantium spear with seven fiend ribs, five sandworm skills, five jabberwocky heads. Again, all things you can find in the mines. The sandworms and fiends are closer to the end, I believe. The jabberwocky are closer to the beginning, or you'll see them more often. Mix an adamantium bow with seven Ashura horns, seven sanguine prince tridents, and five giant gargoyle uh, claws for Apollo's bow. A uh, Magi Robe. Mix a Saint's Robe with five mini Kraken tentacles, five Titan Hides, five Ashura Horns, three Fiend Ribs. Probably very powerful. It's going to be tough to up to beat out the Whirlwind Robe, though. I love the speed the mages have now. But we'll see. Good luck on your journey. And that may just do it for the arena. Let's see if there's something optional. Feed everything that the arena has to offer. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, I missed the perfect opportunity. I'm going to do it anyway. It's my LP. Are you not entertained? I'm in an arena. I've been wanting to use that quote, and I haven't had a really good chance to use it. Awesome quote. I forgot to use it after the battle. So I got to use it anyway. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> Hopefully you are too. It's an awesome quote. Awesome movie. Go watch Gladiator if you haven't seen it. Um, well, that's done. Let's... Huh. I don't want to end the episode just yet. Even though I'm not as geared as I want to be for this. Let's go to the Cave of Mystics. Give that another go. Now, why do I say I'm not as geared as I want to be? I'd love the mages to be immune to uh, the status effects. With uh, Godsend Hat. But... The, the fighters are... I still feel really good about my chances. We'll heal. I still have 10k. Here you go. Let's do this. Hopefully revenge time. Let's go. Seventh circle demon emerged. Now I know what you want to do. So, mana surge? We're going to immediately cut his attack, defense, and agility way down. Hamstring. Why do I say way down? Remember, he's going to get minus 10 attack and defense from hamstring, but also minus 10 attack and defense from Sully's uh, mutilating sword. For Nat, we're going to pull up Citadel for the magic defense, and we're going to risk it and go genius. Here we go. Hamstring. There's Atomic Flare. Sai laughs at you with his magic defense. And now the rest of the party kind of laughs at you. Bring it on! More Atomic Flare! We can take it! Mana Surge. Alright. Human Shield. Mug. Quicksilver for the preamp. Actually... No, uh, I don't think you use darkness and stuff. You mainly use, like, implosion, atomic flare, things like that. Uh, regen. 
And since genius is up, give you a taste of your own medicine. Crit, 1,189. Good job, Sully. See, Sully has some punch now. There's Devil's Breath. Missed us and Sully's immune. Regen. Implosion. Human shield? That way, if you implosion, you can hit me with it. Have fun with that. I could use crush, but I'll save the MP. Mug. We'll go bubble for everybody can have more HP. Thunder ring. There's implosion. Hey, you're supposed to hit me. Bubble. Implosion. All right. Uh, taunt. Just to uh, just to keep that up. Mug. We're gonna use fast heal. That way we make sure Sully doesn't die. And continue hitting him with implosion. Fast heal. Mug. Yeah, Sully's gonna like I said. Sully's gonna crit almost every time now. Implosion. 44.79. Nice. Taunt. Make sure you hit me. Attack. Mug. Cure 4. Fire ring. There's Devil's Breath. Got Natalie. But that's not the end of the world. Implosion. Like it would have been. Why is that? Well, I still have Taunt up, so you're going to hit me more, more than likely. Sully can use potions to help. He can use Remedy, cure all status effects for one ally. While Side keeps up the offensive. So it's not the end now, because Devil's Breath cannot hit everybody. It can't get Sully, and it can't get me. Bye! Ah, sweet revenge. Amazing. You are truly worthy of the treasure. Please accept these rewards. Element ring. Genji ring. 50k. I don't know some of those. <laughs> the rings sound different. I'm different. Um. We'll just use a ring. There we go. All better. Now. Let's take a look at what we got. A ring that prevents status effects, INCLUDING INSTA-DEATH! IMMUNE! Oh, that's awesome! That's cool! That's an amazing ring! That's going right here! Now you can't hit Nat with the status effect! Now she doesn't need the hat! Which means I could get her a different hat if I can find a different recipe for a hat. You don't need this either, so this will be really fun. Cut MP cost by half. I've been waiting to make Natalie immune to everything so I could do this. And with the Genji Ring, that works out. So, can't be insta-killed, can't be hit with a status effect. So, she could put on the Thaumaturgic Ring and cut MP cost by half. Sai is also a really good candidate for this. But, for now, this will work. And this is really funny because what's better than a white mage healing everybody? A white mage that heals everybody for half the cost. The other thing we got was an element ring. A ring that resists 50% of all elemental magic damage. Yikes. <laughs> huh. That's interesting. It's all elemental damage. Now the magic defense helps me in general because that helps me against you know all the all the spells including darkness unless that counts as element which it just might actually but the magic defense also protects me against uh, 
non-elemental things like atomic flare and implosion. But cutting half of everything is also very tempting. It's extremely tempting for, tempting for Sully, who's not very good with elements. I might give somebody that. That's worthwhile. Mysterious Champion. You've completed the Trials of the Mystic Cave. You are truly a powerful warrior. Before you go, I have something I would like to give to you. Somehow you've come by the schematics bequeathed to both my older brothers. My name is Kane. Sid and Cecil are my older brothers. Wait, you're Kane? Please take my four schematics. I've always trusted my brother's opinion, and you've already proven yourself here in the Mystic Cave. I hope that you are able to succeed where I failed. My father's dying wish was to have his son see the adamantium weapons and armor created. I spent my early life searching the world for adamantium after my father passed on. While exploring, I came upon this cave and found a very old man on the verge of death. He told me what I have told you, that you may test your strength with the trials that lie behind the gates. But he also told me that he was the caretaker for this place and that his time was not long. He explained that this place radiates an aura which expands lifespans and that someone must always be stationed here lest the gates weaken. Without a, a caretaker, the gates could weaken and the portals that link directly to the Well of Souls would be open to Terra. I had no choice but to agree to take over as caretaker and soon after I took his place, the old man passed away. My hope was that a mighty warrior would pass all the trials of the Cave of Mystics and then I might give him the schematics that my father passed on to me. With my lengthened lifespan, I might live to see the adamantium schematics created. Grand Shield Veneer Hat, Excalibur, Razor Whip, Excalibur, one of the strongest swords in the multiverse, Sword of the True King. Excalibur is always a extremely powerful sword in, in video games, period, bar none. It's always high class. What do I need to make Excalibur? <laughs> Plus, it's just one of my favorite swords, period. It's Excalibur. The legend behind it is just... And, and the, with every... you know, In real life, the legend of Excalibur is, is grand. But in video game history, the legend of Excalibur grows with every game. Mix an adamantium sword with five Kali Servant Hearts. Kali Servant Hearts? Five Titan Heights, five Ashura Horns, and five Fiend Ribs. I know what I'm gonna go do. In between episodes, I'm gonna go make Excalibur because it's Excalibur. So there we go. And I have a spare adamantium sword. So that's good. Totally forgot about the other stuff. Sorry. <laughs> My, I saw Excalibur. Mine just completely shifted that way. We got some other fancy sounding schematics. Let's see. They were mostly armor, though, correct? Grand Shield. Mix an adamantium shield with five Void Knight armors, five Titan Heights, five Malsupero, Malspiro tentacles. Veneer Hat. Mix a Saint Hat. Saint's Hat with five, uh, seven Jabberwocky Hats, five Titan Heights, three Gargoyle Scales, three Narwhal Horns. This episode has been so awesome and grand, I don't want to end it yet. This is going to be a little bit of a longer episode. We're going to go look at these and see just how good they are and what special effects they have. The way we're going to do that is go to the one person that can make the equipment. Let's take a look. I'm going to save uh, Excalibur for last. A shield that dramatically increases defense, and by golly, it does. <laughs> Not just defense. Gives a ton of crit, defense, magic defense. The thing it doesn't do is give uh, attack power like the Razor Edge Shield does. So I think I'll keep Sully with the Razor Edge Shield so he can have the attack power. That served him really well. He actually hits hard now. And I'll use the Grand Shield. 
dramatically increases magic defense. That's good. It gives 10, 25, 30. The Godsend Hat only gives 3 and 5, but it lets them resist all status effects. So I might switch some of the stuff around. Because of the high int boost, I may give Psy the ring. And uh, have him wear the veneer hat. Or I might have Natalie wear the veneer hat. Just so she can have the high magic fit. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Uh, there's Excalibur. He gave us four. What, what am I missing? <laughs> he gave us the Grand Shield. The Ancient Helm? Right, the Ancient Helm. Mix an Adamantium Helm with seven Dark Champion Shields and seven Void Knight Armor. And it gives a ton of magic defense. Again, this is your choosing. The Horned Helm, which I've been thinking about making. It can actually make one. Again, boost attack. Attack plus 30, and it gives slightly more defense than the adamantium stuff. 3 and 4, respectively. While the Ancient Helm just gives 52 magic defense. I might wear that, and then I can take the ring off. And put on a different ring. Huh. Again, I'll have to decide how I want to do all that. Alright, let's get to the main event. The perfect blade that massively increases attack power. Makes it, I just need the Titan Heights, which are annoying to get. How much? Remember, I'm wielding the Massamoon, which is a very powerful blade, again, in video game history. A super powerful blade. Excalibur usually trumps it. Usually. Kind of depends on the game, but they're both legendary high-end weapons. Good cream of the crop type weapons. Excalibur by 45 <laughs> 68 for Sully says he's using a weaker blade but 45 more than Massimo <laughs> I must have it <laughs> so I'll be equipped with Excalibur when it's all said and done and I'll give Massimo to Sully which fits more with his ninja style it's kind of a, it's usually a, a thinner kind of ninja samurai uh blade typically again depends on the video game and the universe you're in but uh regardless that's gonna happen i'm gonna try to get a few more things and that's pretty much everything that i really want to show off there's the uh yes i will finish the game that's not the i'm not saying this is the in the lp but I think I'm going to go on with the story now. Yes, there there is still more things here. The amount the amount of stuff in this game is is really breathtaking, especially for just an indie RPG. I say it's, that sounded so bad. Just an indie RPG. Sound terrible, Central. What I mean is for a small company to put this much love effort the the breadth of things you can do is is truly amazing my hats off to white giant rpg studios and i can tell you this whatever they're and i'll end up reiterating this whenever uh during the ending video whatever they're making next i will be watching and I will definitely be playing because uh, you sirs and, and madams have done a phenomenal job with this game. Is it perfect? No. No video game is perfect. There's always... You can always nitpick. Which uh, is, is, is annoying to me sometimes. Don't nitpick unless you really have to nitpick. Uh, sometimes it may seem like I do that, but I'm just pointing things out. This game is phenomenal. And it deserves to be said, and it deserves to have a lot of a lot of love thrown its way. You know, there have been far worse games that get great ratings 
that shouldn't have, that can't hold this game's iron sword. Just, it's extremely well done, and whatever the story brings, I know a few of you have said the ending is, is kind of meh, but uh, I know they're working on a sequel, and this is supposed to be a multi-part, like a multi-part series. We'll see how that goes. But just for the sheer content and how much time, you can see the time that I've put into this game. And that you've seen quite a bit of it. It's, it's phenomenal. It's truly great. But again, I'll end up reiterating all of that at the end of the series. I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. What I was going to say is there's still a lot of things to do in this game. Find all the puzzles. Go through the hedge maze. Go through that one area that was, uh, where you can't take your equipment in. Is that the ancient, ancient cave? What cave was that? No, I don't remember. Not the Well of Souls. Um. Huh, I don't remember exactly which, uh, where that place was. You know the one I'm talking about. The one where we, wa we walked in and I read that and was like, ha, no, and walked out. There's still the, uh, that really tough puzzle place, which the enemies may not hurt you as much, but having to fight all the enemies while doing the puzzles would be extremely tough. There's still that. There's still that place. There's still, s still quite a bit to this game that I'm not going to show off. That, that you could do just just amazing and like I said it even grinding the grinding the stuff for the like the adamantium or the super powerful equipment has been satisfying even though it can be tedious and annoying trying to find the right enemy even though you know where it is because because they don't want to pop up I, just, I was still having fun because I knew at the end I was getting some type of awesome reward. I was getting this armor for me and Sully. I was getting the shield. I was getting these awesome whirlwind robes. I'm going to give this game the best compliment I can give it. It's been a blast. It's been a ton of fun. And it's not been a ton of fun. There was a lot to do. What more? What more could you ask for? So, the next episode, we're going to... We're, we're going to do the story. And... Head on to the... Uh, get back on the path of finishing... Finishing this game. So, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed these episodes. Like, the like when we do the arena, we did the hunts. Uh, getting the hammer. All this optional type stuff. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I know I have. It's been a lot of fun. I hope my commentary has not been droll <laughs> and you've enjoyed enjoyed it. I hope you can hear the enthusiasm in my voice because that's the the best thing I can do is show you how much I'm enjoying it because I think that's a tribute to the game and hopefully that makes it to where you have a lot of fun too. It's what it's about. So, next time we'll proceed with the story. Until then, Again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had a ton of fun. I'm Cinder89. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.